Right, so Danish, for this uh, question, we are going to solve by Simon. No, uh, substitution method, right? Now, I look at the four items here, uh, mainly the X's and Y's, uh, uh, like that, like that, like that, like that. Is there anything that is one? No? Yes? No, don't have, right? But I need to make one. So what I do is very simple. I just select something I like and then I make it one. Uh, out of these four, what do you want to choose? Is it 3x or 5x? 3x. Okay, so we try and make this a subject, okay? Uh, is it wrong if I make 7y the subject? No. Huh? So there's endless possibility. So it's very important for you to label the set. Now, 3x is equal to 13. See, I want the x to be subject, means I want x to be alone. So I don't want the 7y, right? So what must I do? Very good. Now, this is 3x. If I don't want the 3 here, how do I remove it? Very good. So this becomes a giant fraction. And I call this equation. Very good. Now, so what I want to do now is I want to replace, sub, replace, sub, this thing here into the x here. Okay, so what do I write? No, we must write the instruction, sub. Very good. So what do you write? 5 bracket. 13 minus 7y over 3 plus 2y equals 12. Now, how do I resolve the 5? 5 belongs to top or bottom? Or both? <laughs> huh? Both. Uh. Okay, let me show you why both is wrong. Uh. Let, me, let me show you the why both is wrong. Okay, now I show you the wrong one first. Now, what happens when I have 5? A over B. This is 5A over 5B. Why this is wrong is because you notice the 5 and 5 can cancel. So left with A over B. So my question is, are they equal? No, right? How can 5A over B equals to A over B? So what is the correct one? The correct one is the 5 actually belongs to the top. And therefore you have 5A over B. Is that okay? So over here, what I can do is I can have 5 bracket 13 minus 7y over 3 plus 2y over 1 equals to 12 over 1. Do you know how to solve from here? Make it into a giant fraction. And then I can use both sides times 3. Uh, in order to make this one, must multiply by 3, multiply by 3, right? Mm. Then after that, I can solve for y. Then after that, I can start back to solve for x. Is this okay? Okay, good. All right, good.